Harry Kurgan's moved to Las Cruces from Los Angeles at the end of 2012. I lost two jobs in California due to the economy, and uh, I ran out of money, and I had really no place else to go, and my family welcomed me. He is 61 years old. I make $7.63 an hour working at Kohl's. I, I own my own business. I work for several other businesses. Um, the only thing that was available were minimum wage jobs. He was one of several people who gathered outside Representative Steve Pierce's Las Cruces office to deliver a petition with about 500 signatures asking for Pierce to raise the minimum wage to $10.10 an hour. A group called MoveOn.org organized the event. Jerry Natchison is a volunteer leader with the group CAFE and was also here. There are a lot of people in this district who are hurting and it would be very good if you seriously listen to them. The buying power of the national minimum wage has fluctuated widely since it requires a vote from Congress that sometimes takes years to pass. In general, the ups and downs of the wage reflect the political party in power at the time. The last increase was enacted in 2007 under Republican President George W. Bush and a Congress controlled by Democrats. Representative Pierce, New Mexico's only Republican in Washington, D.C., says this to us in a recent statement. He says that, quote, a minimum wage increase sounds good on the surface, but it drives stepping stone and entry-level jobs out of the country. He says, quote, the most important thing is to develop skills among lower-skilled workers so they can gain experience and work their way up to high-paying jobs. Judith McCarthy also moved here from California. For her, it was to take care of her ailing mother. She's a retired artist. There are always going to be people who don't make as much money as other people. But for them not to make enough money to live on, to even live on, isn't right. I asked whether she would pay more for everyday items if businesses raised prices. She told me she was one step ahead of me. I already boycott places that don't pay their employees well. We don't have official numbers on how many people in Las Cruces make minimum wage that are near retirement age, but people like Kurgan's are not alone. I work with a lot of people who are in college, but there's some older people uh, like me, and uh, it's tough. Sloan Patton, CareWG News.